Hi, I'm Ned, and I make games. In this video, I'm going to take a look at a frequently used shader function, Smooth Step. How does it work? And what are its uses? Let's find out. Smooth Step is called a sigmoid function. That is, its output curve is shaped like an S. It takes in three arguments, a minimum edge, a maximum edge, and a value, and always returns a number between 0 and 1. Alright, so let's look at some source code. First, the function performs an unlerp, or reverse interpolation, of the value argument between the minimum and maximum edges. If you place min, value, and max on a line, the output is the percentage between min and max where the value resides. Next, the function clamps the unlerp output between 0 and 1, then it calculates a cubic curve, which puts the smooth and smooth step. These numbers are specifically chosen to smoothly transition as p near 0 and 1. Here's a graph of smooth step from 0 to 1 to show what I mean. Notice the S shape that starts at minimum and ends at maximum. By adjusting the edge arguments, you can control exactly where the transition occurs on the number line. Okay, want to make use of it in your projects? Unity provides a smooth step node in the shader graph. In shader code, smooth step is available by default. You can even use it in C Sharp if you've downloaded the Unity.Mathematics package, which comes bundled with many DOTS and render pipeline packages. Simply use the Unity.Mathematics namespace and call smooth step from the math static class. What are some of SmoothStep's uses? It comes up in a variety of shaders. You can use it to implement a tune effect, where the shadows have distinct borders. Implement basic diffuse lighting by taking the dot product of the light direction and the surface normal at that fragment position. Normally, you would multiply the result with a color to shade the object. Instead, feed it into the SmoothStep node with a small distance between edges. There you go, a simple tune effect. The Smooth Step node is also great for transitions. Need a dialog window to pop up from the bottom of the screen? Instead of using a jerky constant speed, Use Smooth Step to interpolate between the start and end positions. It'll give your project a sense of polish. The Smooth Step function also works on vectors. The compiler just applies Smooth Step individually to each component. You can be creative with this. Here, I've made colors change as the sphere moves through space. And that's it for Smooth Step. How else have you used it? Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. If you like game development, consider subscribing. I post weekly content here, including shader tutorials. I'd also really appreciate it if you could like this video. It encourages YouTube to recommend it, and it really helps me out. I also want to thank my patrons for their continued support, including Lee Finzo, who is my next-gen patron. Thank you. Thanks again for watching, and make games.